Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I hope you're all really well. Um, this is a journal that I've just finished. Um, it's actually my March DT project for Artie, project for Artie Mays. I've used her Woodland Walk TN kit and I've also used bits and pieces from the um, original journal kit as well for Woodland Walk. Um, this is actually a belated Christmas present to my best friend. Um, she's a lady that loves woodland animals and flowers and things, um, but she loves to do lots of writing. And I know that she's not one for a heavily embellished book. So what I've done is with this, I've stenciled and stamped a few bits and pieces here and there, but kept it to a minimum. And I've actually embellished the tags, some of the pockets I've stuck in, some I've um, paper clipped in. So she can take everything out if she wants to and put it where she likes. So it's not as detailed as I normally like to make. But anyway, um, you know how people like to have what they want to have and uh, fair enough, eh? So um, I've just used a piece of coffee dyed sari silk as the closure. It's a little bit smaller than a standard TN size. If I'll just measure it. Um, what's this? So it's eight by four and a quarter inches um just single signature and this is a faux leather distressed um cover i've got handmade with love there and on the front we've got this lovely image from the kit and what i've done is i've sewn around i really wanted to use black um thread to sew the signatures in with but i only had white so unfortunately that um, is white but there's lots of white in this book it's white creams and blues um, and it's got lots of um, uh, twine and all inside and um, things embellished with so on the front here we've got this here image and I've backed it onto some backing paper that was in the kit um, so we've got twine here and here we've got some lace and some cheesecloth and some gems and everything picking up blue that is throughout this whole gorgeous journal and i've thoroughly enjoyed using um andrea's kit to make this it's fantastic um i will link her etsy channel for artie mays to this video and uh, i'll also link her channel which is on youtube as well so i'm going to put something here which i haven't done as yet but um i thought i would just get this video done here I've made a layered pocket with some um, of this lovely, um, now what do we call this, anglaise, broad, broad, oh I don't know, eyelet trimmy type fabric, broad ray anglaise, I don't know how we could call it here but um, there's bits of doily on here, bits of embellishment and there's a little hair charm hanging off here and inside this is one of the tags and uh, it's a jumbo tag and I've embellished it with some um, vintage doily and lacy bits and pieces and um, one of these clips with a button on and that slips in there and every nearly every page has been embellished with the same sort of eyelet trim going through and pom-pom trim I've kept this quite um, um, what's the word or you know uniformed I suppose so I've done some stamp stenciling and what I did was I wanted to put natural things in with the stencils so this is actually um, a silver birch scent stencil and this is burlap and I've got a floral one in here and I think I've got another one which is actually little hedgerows um, that I've put in here as well so I'm not going to pull everything out I'll pull out a few but here is one of the beautiful images journaling cards which I've embellished with some lace and some twine and the back I've actually put on some lined coffee dyed paper. Everything's been lined with either coffee dyed paper, card or um, I think I've used square paper and lined paper but it's all coffee dyed. This is one of the envelopes in the kit which like I usually do I've shrunk down and this is one of the journaling cards the double ones um, from the kit you can either glue them shut and have it have it as one piece or I like to have them so they're open like that 
So you know me and my shrinking everything down. So more stenciling here. Here we've got one of the pages from the kit, which is beautiful. And here I've sewn two doilies together to create a little tuck. And that's one of the pictures of the birds, the journaling cards, which I've shrunk down and uh, just pop that in there. This is, um, sorry guys, I hit the camera. This is, um, I don't even see how faint that is, but it's a wood, like a wooden tree type thing stencil. And here we have clipped another envelope, which I've shrunk down. I've sewn around nearly everything in this journal. And we have the same journaling card as I've just shown you, but bigger. And that goes there. I think I worked out, there's about, I think it's 80 pages in this journal. The um, clips I've actually rusted and then I've gone over with a tiny bit of, um, oh, it's like a copper um, paint, metal paint, just to brighten it a little bit because they looked a bit too old and ragged. Um, they went a bit too rusty and I don't know, I just wanted to do something with them so that's what I did. This is a paper ruffle on some square paper and that's one of the pages from the kit. So I'll keep it down here. Blue um, pom-pom trim and then we've got flower stenciling. This is a white um, layered lacy pocket this is actually vintage on top i've laid um this overlay of lace which is modern and then we've got a little piece of a doily back here that's, that's vintage and some cheesecloth with a button and a bulb pin so all of that is hanging off and i got this idea from karen o'reilly and here we've got one of the um, jumbo tags i believe and i've got the eyelet trim here and I've stamped Make Today Amazing and there's a little bird and some cheesecloth hanging off there. By the way, I forgot to mention I did have a butterfly charm hanging off here as well. There's a few throughout on the pockets and pages. This is um, a piece of lined paper that I bought in a pad of paper and I like the cherry so that's been coffee dyed as well. So she's got plenty, plenty of writing room. There's a page that I've cut down. Here's a pocket that I've made um, with um, actually part of an envelope um, from the kit with the owl and there's one of her journaling cards. So that one is stitched in or stuck in. This is the hedgerow um, stencil I was telling you about. Cream pom-pom trim. And here we've got one of the pockets from the kit again. Um, this is one of the pockets that actually Andrea has put in the kit and I've embellished this with cheesecloth and layering and pom-pom and there's one of the butterflies here that I've cut out. Um, that was actually from her Back to Nature kit but I thought it went really well here and so we've got a journaling card of um, a stag and there's a piece of ephemera in here as well. more writing space i mean you know me i'm not used to doing things with so much writing space here i've got an edith holden page which i've actually made into three pockets if i just take that out you'll be able to see it a bit clearer so you've got one here one here and one here so these are just little journaling tags from the kit that have been embellished with a little bit of lace um, that one's just been backed onto card that pops in there and here's one all of these papers from the kit and I've just layered it up with a bit of twine and then turn the page over and what I've done here is I've used one of Andrea's pages I've cut it down and made a pocket which backed onto there because I actually didn't like seeing all of the sewing on the other side um, especially for the lady that I know this is going to so here's another page from the kit that I've just stained um, with um, inks and Tim Holtz Distress Stain and that just pops in here and folds over like that. So we have another doily with another miniaturised journaling card from the kit. There. Here we have a flip up, flip down pocket and that's got um, 
square paper on it. It's also been glued to or sewn to um, square paper. And this is one of the beautiful, beautiful envelopes. I love this owl. I absolutely love him. I use him as much as I can in things. And I've made an autumn little tiny journal before now with him on the front cover because he's one of my favourites. And I was thrilled to see him in this kit as well. I keep knocking the camera. I'm rushing through this because I've got a ton of things to do. <laughs> um, I've left this eyelet um, trim at its full thickness as I bought it and used it as a tuck spot with some ephemera. All the bits of ephemera are from Tsunami Rose. That's the page from the kit that I've shrunk down. And here I've used the banners to make a double tuck spot. And that's a picture of that fabulous bee, which I love, which um, I'm gonna stick under there, that I've backed with card. Here I've got some vintage music paper. It's very fine. So I've put a doily on and cut out a circle from the backing paper that Andrea's got in the kit. This envelope um, is one that I actually purchased, but because he's got the owl on it, I thought it would go nice with this. And in here, I've put in a journal spot from the kit of the other owl that's in this kit. So that goes in there. And on the other side, there's a piece of ephemera. One of the pages from the kit, just beautiful, beautiful colours. I love this blue. I was so thrilled to see Andrea make this. I really was. I keep going on about it, but it's stunning. Here we have a little tiny tag I've made with um, image from the kit and the backing paper. And it actually came from one of these. I think it might have been that size. And I just cut a part of it off. It looks like a piece up there and this is a little pocket that I made that is stitched in and you've got a wooden bird here with some cheesecloth and this is in a little envelope that I've made with a glassine bag and there's some washi down here or some little birds sitting on washing lines or um, power cables and also I've used handmade paper to build that pocket up and that's a piece of the paper from the kit which is stunning more stenciling here we have another tag that's been paper clipped on and this is actually a butterfly from one of the journaling cards that I printed onto some canvas and just put it on this tag there's a little bunny on the back there I've put the odd bunny and things through this and here we are in the center and this is wax linen, so it's quite stiff at the moment, but I've got little blue butterflies that I've cut out um, with a punch down there. And here we've got two journaling cards, and these have been embellished with laces and trims and um, all sorts of goodies, um, cheesecloth. And I've sewn around them with black because I wanted to keep the black going throughout this journal that there so that's this one which is rather beautiful and on the back there's this little deer little doe pin that back in and I'm going to pause the video here and do part two because um, time's getting on <laughs> 